couldn't get it. Rebound inside. The Suns on the move. Breaking out his person. He takes it to the hole. Here he comes. Bounce it. Miss Fineman, your, your ability to, to change ends, like get a rebound, and it was almost like a one-man break. It was always the scouting report was get back. You know, we got to <laughs> have back. two or three guys. Don't crash the glass on right. the offensive end because once he gets that ball, it's coming, and he's doing what you don't know what he's going to do. I, well, I didn't know what I was going to do. Did you do. throw it off the backboard one time? I, yeah, I the creativity. That. You know, that's you know, sometimes <laughs> when you're sitting around, yeah. how can you be creative? Um, I always wanted to throw it off the glass. Kmart was a perfect candidate for that. Here comes Kid running with Kenny Martin. Oh, oh, my oh, oh, my goodness. I always tried to help. So right. rebounding was something I wanted to try to help the bigs. As you know, bigs, these are big guys hitting each other. So there's going to be some rebounds that are going to be right there to grab. And I was always taught, look up. Yeah. Once you get the ball, look up. Throw it ahead. And so that was... That, Makes the game easy. Early on in my career in Detroit, a lot of my rebounds were on the defensive end. And I always felt if I got a defensive rebound and I bursted out those first two dribbles. Who's going to pick you up? Now I have the bigs oh, yeah. behind me. That's right. Now it's three on three. So I always kind of like felt like a defensive rebound was, was an oh. opportunity to score. For sure. And I, and I saw that. I mean, you did you no. did that as well. So I, I, I might have even picked that up from mm -hmm. watching you early on when you were in Dallas. But for you, because you're big, right, who's going to pick you up? So in, the, in, the, in our league, right, a small is back, I got to pick you up. I'm yeah. going, oh, Lord, he's just going to take me to the box. Right. And then he's just going to turn over and shoot over me. And then in the open court, the one step, if you crossed them over, you were on top of the rim. Mm. And you dunked on a lot of people. Now I look at that rim, I'm like, man, that's so high. <laughs> I think I can get up there. I didn't worry about landing. That's how I felt at the end of my career in uh, New York. Right. I thought the rim, one, I thought the rim was moving because I could not make a shot. Right. And that's when I knew I went to Woody. And I go, this is in the playoffs. True story. I go to Woody. Woody, between me and you, I'm just going to sit at the end of the bench. Right. <laughs> you, I, can't, there's no, I have no gas left. Right. There's right. nothing left. I can't make a shot. I think the rim is moving. I think they raised it. I swear to you, they all look good. Right. I think they're going in. Right. And, hey, I came in the league not shooting. I left, well, I think, 0, 0 for 16. Wow. I was on the streak, so I was just like, <laughs> let's just park this car. This car has no gas. Right. We're going to park it here at the yeah. end of the bench. Yeah, when, when it's over, you know. Oh, whew. For me, I, I, we were in the playoffs. We lost to Memphis. And I, hurt, I got hurt. And layup line. Oh. <laughs> so I'm on the Clippers. I'm all hyped. Like, I'm playoffs. I knew this is my last year. You know, and I'm, I'm, you know, the Clippers with Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. Layup line was like a slam dunk right. contest. So I'm taking off from the dotted. I even did a windmill. Like, I'm, I'm all hyped. Going at halftime. We come back out. And I'm walking out with Willie Green. I'm like, Willie, man, like, my knee hurts. <laughs> he said, well, your bad knee? I said, no, my good knee. And so come to I had a surface tear in my meniscus. I got I hurt my knee in layup line. That's what I knew. I said, you know what? That's it. That's it. I, I, I probably was done before that, but that was when it was official.